Well, protesters in London have demanded Islamabad to do more to help Dr. Afia Siddiqui, a Pakistani scientist found guilty in a U.S. court of attempting to kill U.S. military personnel. This while she was being held in a U.S. jail. Absence of credible evidence has seen Siddiqui's case evoke outrage among Pakistanis and the Islamic community. There are many who feel that the Pakistani government has failed to pull its weight in dealing with what they believe is a serious miscarriage of justice. Some even accuse President Asif Zardari of complicity with the U.S. in Afia Siddiqui's continued imprisonment, despite his government's insistence that it's keen to have her returned to her family in Karachi. Pakistan government has accepted for this innocent woman to be extradited with no due process to the U.S. It's that he, they have accepted for her to be trialed in this kangaroo court, in an American court, their own citizen, uh, and they've accepted this conviction by simply saying in a feeble statement from their Washington embassy that we are dismayed over the conviction of Dr. Afia. I mean, this government has surrendered its e economics, its politics, and now its judicial process to a foreign state. The story of Afia Siddiqui has sparked outrage in Pakistan. She went missing on the 30th of March 2003 after getting into a taxi in the city of Karachi. She claims to have been imprisoned in the U.S. military base at Bagram in Afghanistan, where she alleges she and several others, including children, were tortured and abused. Several high-profile former detainees who've spent time held without charge in Bagram have stated that they saw a woman matching Siddiqui's description in the detention facility. But the U.S. government denies that Dr. Siddiqui was ever held by its military. After human rights groups started investigating her disappearance, she reappeared in Afghanistan in 2008, where the authorities claim she was planning a terrorist attack. It was at this point that she's alleged to have attempted to shoot at U.S. military personnel, a charge that she continues to deny. Dr. Siddiqui now awaits sentencing and is likely to face life in a U.S. prison. Hassan Ghani, Press TV, London.